when you start out racing, you know, and you you paint this name of a certain driver on the door, somebody like A.J. Ford, uh, David Pearson, or Cale Yarber, and all those guys, it really made you feel like you was moving forward when you put somebody's name like that on the door. He was sick, and uh, after it's over, he looked like he, you know he didn't feel that good, but he drove his heart out. I remember. He and David Pearson, they got together in turn one and uh, tailed his hell from all off and went on to win the race. David Pearson was one of the greatest drivers ever. He was so easy to set a car up for. David, he'd always say he'd run in wide open, that's all I can do, and he'd end up winning the race every time. And one year at uh, Darling, he had a cigarette light in his car. And uh, Buddy Baker, bless his heart, you know, you could kind of get him uh, psych psychologically, you can get him upset a little bit. So he just lights a cigarette as he passes him at the start finish line at Darnell, and then of course Buddy, he was overdriving after that. But uh, that's the stuff that he would do. He'd play with your mind a little bit. And he was good at it, as well as driving the car. Years ago, you'd go to Darlington, and it was just so much excitement built up before the race. They'd have like a, a parade, uh, sort of a a comedy act uh, on the front straightaway before the race and just so much energy built up and your car was so close to the rail if you slipped any it would it'd slip into the rail and you'd call it the Darlington Stripe. There's nothing like it. It's a great feeling and everybody wanted to win Darlington and the Southern 500.